boys about 68 degrees and comfortable inside the movie theater. And Patrick mm -hmm. Hubley from the Utah Film Center is here to tell us about some upcoming screenings, free screenings, I should add, right. including one that has a little bit of a college rivalry element to it, right? Yeah, absolutely, Rick. We're, so tomorrow night at the City Library, we're going to be showcasing five short films from graduates of the UVU, uh, BYU, and University of Utah film programs. So we're going to, it's going to, it's a 90 minute, uh, it's, it's a 90 minute show, but five short films will have audience participation by voting on their favorite film. We're gonna off, we're gonna award a jury prize and an audience award as well. So that's a cash, a small cash prize to, to re re we'll re reward the student for the best film. That's so cool that we have uh, students at our local universities Indeed. that are making films and you're giving them the, uh, the place to, to showcase those films and go and uh, vote, see the films and Please. vote for your favorite or vote for your favorite school. Absolutely. And also it is December, it's holiday right. time and you've got an inside behind the scenes look at the uh, Nutcracker Ballet, right? Yeah, so Ballet West has, you know, has been ha hosts the longest running continuous Nutcracker performance. Huh. I think it's been 75 years. And uh, so in celebration of the 75th anniversary, BYU TV has made a behind the scenes documentary looking at you know the production what goes into the, like the making of the nutcracker every year so we're hosting a special premiere screening of the film we're going to have a talk back with you know probably 10 to 12 dancers and cast members and adam sklute the artistic director so it'll be a wonderful evening to what? really get people into the uh, celebratory spirit it's wednesday night uh the f so this wednesday uh, at the City Library at 7 o'clock, and it's free to the public. Visions of sugar plums dancing Indeed. in your head. I know that your Tumbleweeds Kids Film Festival yep. is coming up next March, but uh, yep. now's the time to get your tickets for that, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we are getting uh, our early bird passes go on sale next Monday. So they're, they're uh, uh, you know, six to ten ticket film passes at a very discounted rate, you know, for as a gift for the holidays. But Tumbleweeds is going into its, I believe it's its ninth or ninth year. You started and it, right? I did, I did. I founded it with my colleagues at the Film Center. And uh, it's essentially a Sundance but the type of event, but for kids. So Sundance for eight-year-olds, documentaries, foreign films, short films, all, you know, things that we wouldn't normally see at the cinema, as well as workshops and interactive um, stations and stuff. Great stocking stuffer there. Where Indeed. can people get more information? What's your website? Our website is utahfilmcenter.org. All right, Patrick Hubley, thanks as always for being here with us. Appreciate